hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very realistic cozy fall morning routine i am so excited that you're here today let's go ahead and hop into it So as I mentioned in the intro, this morning routine is extremely realistic. This is exactly what I do in the morning. I try to stay very intentional and purposeful in the morning from the time that I get up. And my mornings always start with Bible time. And it's usually while it's still a little bit dark outside, I try to get cozy on the couch with Dash, as you saw, and just hop into my morning devotion. Um, that can be different things. Sometimes it's just a little bit of prayer, quiet time with God. Sometimes it's my full routine, which is my prayer journal, and my Bible, and things like that. But this morning, I just started out with a little bit of prayer journaling. To me, you guys, prayer journaling is just such a great way to start out the day. First of all, you're able to release what you have on your mind or your heart. Um, things that might have happened the night before or the day before or whatever the case may be you're just able to release those things and give them to God and second you're able to worship God and to praise God which is something I love to do whenever I write in my prayer journal just tell God whatever I'm grateful for for that morning but I truly truly love my little time with God in my prayer journal and I highly recommend that you try that out if you want to get started on prayer journaling today i have a prayer journal printout and i will link that in my description down below you can have all this world, but give me Jesus. so another thing i love to do in my devotion time is get into some word y'all i feel like the bible is such a great tool to have especially when you need a little bit of motivation to get you through the day and lately i have been following along with the dwell study guide and i have been studying romans 10 i got my study guide from the daily grace co i love it, it i think it was only five dollars super cheap but if you want a free study guide i have one in the description as well Jesus. So once I get done with my Bible time, I love to come into the kitchen and make me a big glass of water. I love water first thing in the morning and it's just my favorite thing. So I make me a big glass of ice water. I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't have ice water first thing in the morning, but I love it. I feel like at night you're just so hot and warm. The first thing I just want is a nice cold glass of water and I added a little bit of lemon in there but I'm not joking y'all. I drink that whole mason jar full of water every morning before I go on my walks.
So once I get done making my water, I head to my desk, turn on my fairy lights, and light up a cozy fall candle and get started on my schoolwork for the day. I have been so busy with school you guys it's like literally not even funny i've been so busy but i've been doing so well i really love working on school first thing in the morning because it's super quiet and peaceful and there's nothing to distract me no notifications or anything like that so that's why i try to get my school work done first thing in the morning so i can take a few hours to zone out before it is time for me to go on my walk with dash So once I'm about halfway through my study sesh, I am normally ready for my cup of coffee. And I have really been enjoying coffee lately, you guys. I don't always love coffee, but more recently, I have just really been enjoying it. I love the taste, but it's not just the taste. It's the whole process. It's trying out different recipes. It's playing around. I've really just been enjoying it. Today, I am making the shaken brown sugar espresso from Starbucks, and I'm having it iced. But I've kind of made a little variation on this recipe, and I feel like I am an expert at it now. But I do it with regular coffee instead of espresso because I just don't have espresso. I don't drink espresso that much. So what I do is I just brew a really, really strong cup of coffee. So I put a lot in my little pod, but I brew a small glass of it. And I normally just brew it in any kind of glass because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be transferring it later. But this recipe is so good and it's so easy to make at home. You really don't need that many ingredients. And I have recently bought myself like a hand frother because I love frothed coffee or frothed drinks. I make lattes all the time like chai lattes or just regular lattes all the time. So I really love my hand frother. So next what I'm going to do is mix in about a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon sometimes I put this in a container where I can just shake it up really quick and then sometimes I mix it to be honest it really doesn't matter to me some people say it might matter but it doesn't matter to me if it's not shaken I just mix it up till it dissolves but that's why I like to make it in a hot coffee because even if I'm having it iced I feel like the sugar wouldn't dissolve enough in colder coffee but i do shake it up every now and then <laughs> but once i have that nice and mixed up i usually just transfer that to a cup of ice sometimes i'll let it cool off a little bit sometimes i don't if i'm really rushing i don't 
and then I froth up some oat milk. I've really been loving the Oatly Barista Blend oat milk, and I just pour that over my coffee and girl you have to try it if you do please like tag me on instagram or let me know in the comments or something this coffee recipe is fire literal literally fire <laughs> it's so great i love it so much and i just love the oatmeal mixing in with the coffee i feel like just the aesthetic you guys i just love it so much i love making coffee lately so i'll take my coffee back to my desk and get some more work done while it's still dark outside while it's still quiet in the house So once it starts getting a little bit lighter outside, me and Dash love to go on our walks. We really enjoy walking as the sun is coming up just because it's so beautiful and it's just so enjoyable, especially because it's nice and cool outside. By the way, ignore Dash's water bowl there. She tends to move it around every now and then. But you guys, I really enjoy these walks because not only are they exercise for me, but they're also a way for me to worship God. As I'm walking, I pray, I'll worship him as I see something of his creation that I'm just really grateful for that day. And I like to float through my mornings with intention, with purpose. If you want to be intentional with your mornings, I have a morning flow planner that I will link down in the description. This is my newest freebie to my website, by the way. So me and Dash usually stay gone for about 45 minutes to an hour, but once we get home, I am ready for breakfast, you guys. I don't usually eat in the mornings until after I get back from my walk, but once I get home, I am starving. So I start out with some breakfast. I usually prep my breakfast, and that is in the form of a sweet potato mash, which consists of sweet potatoes, ground turkey, onions, and some sort of veggies. Like this time I did a little bit of yellow squash, but it really just depends. I like to shake it up every now and then so I'll do something different and then I'll add in a little bit of veggies maybe some tomato or some spinach in this case and then I will crack an egg I feel like this is such a great breakfast especially if you are doing a workout or if you're just trying to stay a little bit fit a little bit lean I feel like this is such a wonderful breakfast super low carb high in protein things like that so I just add everything to my pan. I add a little bit of salt and pepper and I feel like we are good to go here. This is my perfect breakfast. I really enjoy this breakfast and I like to switch it up every now and then. So sometimes I'll do oatmeal or little protein balls or sometimes I'll do cereal. I mean, whatever I feel like. But this morning, that's just what I wanted. I already had it prepped in the fridge. So all I had to do was heat it up and crack my egg. Then I like to add a little something something on the side. So today I had some oranges and grapes and I also added a little bit of cottage cheese on the side and some guacamole. Guacamole goes so well with the sweet potato mash. It's crazy. Last I added a little bit of salt and pepper and that was my breakfast and that was my morning. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. A little bit of encouragement. I love you guys so so much but more importantly Jesus loves you. I'll see you in the next one. Stay beautiful. Bye.